so right now i am on exchange server there are a lot of dependencies to remove the last exchange server from your organization so let's try to carefully remove the dependencies to avoid the errors and finally we will remove the last exchange server from our on premises if i go to the exchange admin center we have already migrated our mailboxes to microsoft 365 and if we go to the organization you can see we have a sharing so let me remove this and i will delete it so it has been deleted successfully and if i go to the mail flow we also have a rules here we don't require them anymore i will delete them as well so now let's go to the send connector we have a two connector let me delete the both connectors this is for the office 365 let me delete this one as well so our connector is also deleted and if we go to the add remove programs we have a microsoft 365 hybrid configuration wizard let me try to uninstall this as well it says remove the application from this computer i say ok now the application has been removed so let me close this so we have deleted the sharing we have deleted the send connectors we have uninstalled the hybrid configuration wizard application if I go to the server, you can see this is the last server we have and if we go to the database, we only have a last database mounted that is DB01-2019. So let me sign out from here and I will close it. Let's go to the exchange management shell. If I run this command let get mailbox database, you can see that we only have a one database left that is DB01-2019. So if I run the command let get mailbox. You can see we only have a one mailbox that is discovery search mailbox. And if I run this command let get mailbox database db01 2019 I will get the same result. Because this is the only database we have left with. If we have a multiple databases we should type the database name. So now in this case we only have a one left. This is the database which was created automatically when the exchange server was installed. So it may consist of other system mailboxes as well. And we have to delete all those mailboxes or we have to disable those mailboxes before uninstalling the exchange. So let's try to find out what other system mailbox we have in our system. Here we have a discovery search mailbox. If I try to run this command let get mailbox public folder. We do not have any public folder. And same if I do it with the archive. We do not have any archive mailboxes as well. Let's try to do it with the audit log. Get mailbox audit log. You can see we have a system mailbox in the audit log. If I try to find it for the arbitration mailbox, we have arbitration mailbox as well. If you count them, there are seven. And if I do the same thing with this, get mailbox database DB01 2019 arbitration, we will get the same result as we already discussed that. Let's also try to find if we have a monitoring mailbox or not. We have the monitoring mailboxes as well and you can see they all are lying inside the EEX02 2019 on the same server. You can see all these mailboxes are lying on the same server. So without removing or disabling them we cannot remove the exchange server. So let's try to disable them. So again I will try to run this command let get mailbox and you can see this discovery search mailbox. So first of all let's try to disable this. In order to disable that we have to find the complete name of this discovery search mailbox. So let's try to run this command let. We will type the fl here and I will hit enter. Let's try to search the name for this. You can see we find the name discovery search mailbox. This is a number inside the curly brackets. I will copy it and let's try to remove this discovery search mailbox. So I will run the command let remove mailbox the discovery search mailbox the name we have copied from there and let's try to hit enter it's saying removing this discovery mailbox will remove the active directory user object and mark the mailbox and the archive if present in the database for the removal so as we are removing our last exchange so we do not care for that and let me press y and hit enter so this is removed as we already checked that we do not have a public folder neither we have an archive let's try to find if we have an offline address book or not for that I will run this command let get offline address book. So we have a default offline address book as well. This is a help that you can try to find out what command let you are looking for. So if I type here get help disable mailbox and if I hit enter it gave me some examples and syntaxes. You can see here disable mailbox identity and mailbox parameter that is arbitration and you can see disable arbitration mailbox with OAB that is offline address book or disable arbitration mailbox allowed. If we try to run this switch 
it may help us to get rid of that offline address book as well otherwise we have to remove that manually so let's try that if we simply run this command let disable mailbox arbitration see what will happen it is asking for identity and we have to give a particular identity for that let's try to run this command let which we have discovered just right now get mailbox arbitration disable mailbox arbitration and disable arbitration mailbox with oab allowed let me hit enter and let's see if it goes through or not so here we have a warning let me hit yes again it's asking to confirm it so i'll press a for all so here we ran into the problem it says exchange can't disable the mailbox because it is the last one in the organization so let me try to run this command let get mailbox arbitration disable mailbox arbitration disable last arbitration mailbox allowed and i will say yes and it goes through let me clear the screen let me try to run the command let get offline address book once again we still have the offline address book let's get rid of that here you can see the name of the default offline address book is this default offline address book. So let me run this command let remove offline address book identity default offline address book. Are you sure you want to perform this action removing offline address book? I say yes we want to remove it. It's asking to confirm it. I say yes again and let me check that once again get offline address book. Now there is no result offline address book is also removed now. Now let's try to disable the audit mailbox as well and for that I will run the command let get mailbox audit log disable mailbox. Again we have a warning that it will delete it from the active directory and mark for the removal I say yes. Now the audit log has been disabled. We also have a monitoring mailboxes. So let me run this command let get mailbox monitoring disable mailbox confirm dollar false. Hit enter the command ran successfully. Let me clear the screen. Let's cross check now. We have disabled all the mailboxes or not. So if I go to the get mailbox, there is no result. Let's check for public folder. There is no result. Same I will do for the archive. No result. Let's do that for audit log. No result. Let's do that for arbitration. No result. Let's do that for monitoring. No result. Let's check that for offline address book as well. We have a spelling mistake there offline address book there is no result let's try to delete the database now in order to remove the database i will run this command let remove mailbox database identity db01 2019 it says are you sure you want to perform this action i will say yes the specified database has been removed you must remove the database file located in the path from your computer manually if it exists we have successfully removed the database as well so now we can just close this and let's try to uninstall the exchange now and here we can see the microsoft exchange server 2019 cumulative update 9 and i will hit uninstall i will say yes remove the exchange server it's checking the prerequisites prerequisites analysis has been completed let me hit uninstall now the removal process has been started if we go to the azure active directory admin center and we see the azure active directory overview let me crawl it down you can see azure ad connect not enabled there is no synchronization going on so now let me uninstall the azure ad connect as well i am inside the domain controller microsoft azure ad connect let me uninstall it remove it has been uninstalled and it's saying also uninstall supporting component i will exit now the azure ad connect is also removed from our active directory there is no synchronization of active directory users to the microsoft 365 and let's go back to the exchange so now the microsoft exchange server 2019 has been completely removed from our machine so let me finish that if i go to the microsoft 365 admin center we have all our users here if i go to the exchange admin center and if i click on harry organization and manage organization information i want to add the company as a techie jack i'll click on save you want to give a delegation as a send as you can add the members i will add jack and i will click on save confirm so you can see mailbox permission were added to these mailboxes now we can manage our all the users from exchange admin center and our all the exchange server from the on premises are decommissioned let's try to check a mail flow as well i am logged in with the jack user and if i try to compose an email to joe let me also try to send it to a gmail and I will send it. Here we have a Joe mailbox. 
you can see we have received that and if we see the gmail we have received the mail in the gmail as well let me reply as received and we'll send back let me reply ok so let's see the jack mailbox so our internal and external mail flow is working perfectly fine and we can manage all the users from exchange online we have successfully migrated our users and we have successfully decommissioned our on-premises exchange server